I have some not so great news. So as some of you might know, we recently added Astro support to SST. It's going pretty well. A lot of people are using it. A lot of Astro sites being deployed through SST. So we thought, hey, it'd be fun to celebrate, have Fred on, do a video together where I can interview him. I don't want to point any fingers, but it really did not go well. It went pretty poorly, actually. Uh, but I figured, let's just upload it anyway. Let me know what you guys think. My guest today is Fred K. Sk uh, Scoot. Is that right, Fred? It's shot. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, like a gun. Okay. Shot. Okay, but let, let, let's get started. Um, developer, open source legend, and now CEO of a beloved company. Which one of Guillermo Rauch's qualities do you admire the most? Um, Guillermo's a great guy. But you know, let's talk about you. We're here to talk about you, right? Uh, so you went to school in the Boston area. Super impressive. Uh, what was life like at MIT? Um, I, I went to Tufts in Medford. Oh, t oh, Tufts. Well, you know, what can I say about Tufts? It is uh, another school in Boston. Um, in Medford. Let's move on. So everyone I talk to says Fred is the nicest. Primogen said the other day, you are the nicest guy in tech. Why do you think no one respects you? Um, I, I thought you told me we had something important to talk about. I thought that's why we were on this call right now. Is that not, is that not true? Uh, I mean, this is, this is, come on. Uh, I canceled a meeting for this. All right. I, I got some more questions. Maybe the next ones will be good. Mm -hmm. All right. So it says here you joined Google to work on web components and polymer. Do you think it would have been just as rewarding to work on something people actually use? Um, uh, web, com web components are actually pretty well used. Um, that's a common misconception. Okay. I'm sure you have some, some data that you can show me later. Uh, data. We, we've seen what your data is like is all I'm saying. Uh, anyway, I, I got your text about not bringing up snowpack and how you got destroyed by Vite. Uh, don't worry. I'm not going to bring that up. It's really embarrassing. I don't want to hurt you or friends. I wouldn't do that. So don't worry about that. I'm not gonna bring that up. Th thanks. I, thanks. I appreciate that. What advice would you give to a young developer? who wants to fail upwards as well as you have. Um, you know what? Right, right place, right time. So speaking of right place, right time, let's talk about your new venture, Astro. Uh, with an incredible, awe-inspiring name like Astro, are people disappointed to find out it's just another JS framework? I'm sorry, are you not wearing headphones? I can hear myself in your audio. Uh... So, okay, so let, all right, so we've got Next.js, Solid Start, Remix, Svelkit, Astro. I don't have anything to add. I was just listing my fair frameworks in order. Oh, fuck. Astro is all about islands of interactivity. Tell me more about that. Um, it's this really cool model. So you can sprinkle components in on your page into this like kind of much more piecemeal. You get to kind of choose where the logic goes and your performance is improved. You're not shipping a ton of JavaScript to the client. It's a really cool new architecture. Okay, I, I regret asking file that under who gives a shit, right? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Was that too complicated for you? No, I mean, it's just Astro makes site go fast. I, okay. You know what? That's good. Say that next time, put it on your website. I think, you might get more downloads that way. I've seen your download numbers and it could use, it could use some help. I appreciate your concern. So I find it interesting that Astro supports multiple frameworks. Which ones does it work with again? Um, Astro supports React, Preact, Svelte, Vue, Solid, pretty much any UI framework um, can be plugged into Astro. So basically they do all the hard work and Astro focuses on taking credit, which is kind of like what you do as a CEO, right? Exactly. That's spot on. So you actually do some work. You recently published an analysis of framework performance. Astro came in first in every single category. Was it hard to write such an unbiased article? 
You know what? The data doesn't lie. Okay. If, if you, if you say so, do you want to comment on rumors that you're going to give up on Astro entirely and join Vercel as an intern? Huh? You know, everyone else is doing it. Why shouldn't I? So do you have any tips for someone who needs to trick VCs into giving them money without having any viable business model at all? All right, so who's your favorite employee? Oh, I, I, I don't pick favorites like that. Everyone on the Astro team is great. This is why no one respects you. It's obviously the guy with the whiteboard. Everyone loves him. He's, He's super great. likable, way more likable than you are. You should probably just make him the CEO and then you can just disappear. Fly off into the sunset. We don't really care where you go. I think we just want to see less of you and more of him, if that makes sense. Are you trying to look like Jeff Bezos? What's it like living in Guillermo Rauch's shadow? What the f What's it like building Vercel, but just with more steps? All right, listen here, mother <laughs>